the four-jet Avro Vulcan, largest Delta aircraft in the world, only went into squadron service a few months ago. This supersonic atom bomber has been making a round trip of 26,000 miles to Australia and New Zealand and back, with Bomber Command Chief Sir Harry Broadhurst as co-pilot. But at the very end of the flight, without a moment's warning, disaster strikes. The huge bomber lies a flaming wreck on the runway of London Airport. Four men are dead. Miraculously, Air Marshal Broadhurst and the captain, squadron leader Donald Howard, were thrown clear by their ejector seats in the last few desperate seconds. There are no other survivors. No one yet knows the cause of the disaster. The Vulcan was being talked down in very bad weather, and eyewitnesses say she appeared to hit an obstruction. The pilot, after being ejected, landed safely on grass. But Air Marshal Broadhurst hit the concrete and is hurried to Uxbridge RAF station with suspected fractures. Squadron leader Howard is able to leave with his wife after a checkup. He has escaped with a bruised forehead. But the Air Marshal is suffering from shock in addition to his injuries and journalists are not allowed to see him. Bomber Command and civil air experts are quickly on the scene and the Air Ministry promises an immediate inquiry into the accident which brought a brilliant round-the-world performance to such a tragic end.